has been a wacky day, hasn't it? Yeah, a little bit of everything. Now it's canines on canvas. California trendsetters laying out the big bucks to immortalize their pets. And they're not content with just any artist rendition. No, no. CNN's Anne McDermott reports <laughs> they insist on masterpieces. Of course. Nelson the Rottweiler is going to get his portrait painted. But since Nelson isn't real good at posing, the artist will work from a photo. Nelson's humans want the artist to capture the real Nelson. He's, he's like um, what you consider perfection in the breed, and, and uh -huh. they should be very um, powerful and, and um, robust. Nelson the Noble. That's Socrates. He has his own painting, a copy of a Rousseau. I thought it would be nice to remember Socrates when he was 35 pounds. Socrates has since gained 100 pounds, but his puppyhood is now immortalized. Also immortalized, Simon the Cat. Yeah, just a handsome dude. Both in person and in paint. Okay, you say these things are only copies, but if you wanted the original, say, of this one, it could cost you 50 million. And besides, it wouldn't have your Sparky in it. And that, of course, is the whole point. I'd like to present Nelson. Oh, my God. Wow. That's that is unbelievable. Oh, Anne McDermott, CNN, Los Angeles. And now, here's a chance to immortalize your furry friend as a work of art. Gary Berglund reports. Bo Bradford will put your pooch in a Picasso, your Doberman in a Degas, your Siamese in a Cezanne. You get the idea. Tracy and Chris Essie the... are on pet and portrait number three. Bonnie replacing the giant rose in a Magritte. Well, she wanted mm. to fill the room with all her... the time with her presence. So yeah, that's we right. Figure <laughs> Very... This would be an appropriate yeah, she's... painting for her to be in. When did she get to be a beauty? When did he grow to be so tall? So that's why we chose that particular pose. She does that a lot. Yeah, and and we the, said, this is the essence of Annie. You know, she's always taking the original, a snooze. The original painting had a dog in it curled up like that. Wasn't it yesterday when they were small? The dog is almost life-size sitting here, and I like the colorfulness of the picture because the dog is kind of dark. black yeah. <laughs> not very colorful and and this is one of my favorite matisse paintings and the la with? client list is growing diane english's horse a la warhol and here's a twist hugh hefner had the nude taken out of rousseau's the dream replaced by kids and pets But the pussycat portraits or the Labrador likenesses are not cheap. But then, how could you put a price on such a face? People are much easier to please with their pets. People have a certain uh, self-image in their own minds, you know, of how they look. And that's very hard to, you know, meet that criteria. But, but they always love the paintings of their dogs, and they never ask me to change anything.